Because health matters, Arkansas Children's Hospital just opened the state's first breastfeeding clinic. KRK4's Suzanne Bruner shows us how one pediatrician is helping both mothers and babies achieve their feeding goals. I know. Now there's a resource for new moms who need help with breastfeeding. It's a hands-on experience and I can make adjustments um, to how the baby's eating, how the mom is holding baby. Hannah Reno is a pediatrician and certified lactation consultant who started a breastfeeding clinic at Arkansas Children's Hospital. This is outpatient support that can provide both the practical side of breastfeeding advice and medical side of pediatric advice, all in the same spot. 90% of moms are trying. By the time we get to three months old, um, fewer than 60% of moms are still breastfeeding. And by the time we get to six months old, it's dropped way further than that. Deanna Ray came to the clinic several weeks after her daughter Caroline was born. She seemed to be latching um, and my supply seemed to be okay because what I was pumping indicated that the supply was good, but she wasn't gaining weight. Over the last couple of months, Dr. Reno has worked with Ray and her baby an hour each. Ray says it turns out yes. her baby wasn't feeding efficiently. She's been truly a life changer in how we are able, how I'm able to feed Caroline. Dr. Reno says Arkansas ranks low when it comes to breastfeeding and hopes this clinic helps make a positive impact for years to come. We know that breastfeeding has benefits for both short-term health, ear infections, colds, things like that, and also long-term health, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, asthma. Through education and assistance. I think it's incredible, and I don't think that they could have found a better doctor to lead this brand new clinic in Arkansas. Ray believes the breastfeeding clinic will benefit many expectant mothers. In Little Rock, I'm Suzanne Bruner. And the breastfeeding clinic launched in April. If you'd like more information, just look for this story on our website, krk.com.